Hey guys, and welcome to this Barbarian Assault Attacker Guide for Beginners. To be an effective attacker, you'll want to use your best ranged DPS gear. This is an example of what a setup could look like. Of course, not all of you will have this gear available to you, so, if you don't have Elite Void unlocked, regular Void is also good, otherwise you can use Dragonhide Armor. A Necklace of Anguish is great since it increases your maximum hit. If you can't afford or equip an Anguish, try something with high ranged accuracy such as a Fury or a Glory. Boots are for ranged attack bonuses, so you'll want to use either Pagasians, Rangers, Blessed Dragonhide Boots, or Snakeskin. Make sure your Magic Shortbow is imbued, as it will reduce the special attack energy to 50%. A magic comp bow is used for the first attack in each wave, as it has a slightly longer range than the magic short bow. Mind and elemental shields can be used to dupe the omega egg in wave 10. This will be explained later on. Also, make sure to set up your inventory so that the arrows and horn will be in an easy position to click during waves. The horn will take the first available slot, followed by the four different types of arrows. One of the attackers should be the scroller, and should add players in the following order. Attackers first, followed by healer, then collector, and finally defender, or AAHCD for short. This is the most used scrolling order because of where each player spawns when the waves start. The scroller is called the main attacker, and should target penance fighters. The other attacker is called the second attacker, and should target penance rangers. At the start of each wave, you should grab arrows from the dispenser. Once you've grabbed your arrows, head northwest toward the fighter and rangers. Make sure that you don't venture east of this line. If possible, stay even more west just to be safe. This usually ensures that penance healers will not be able to aggro you, and will only aggro either the healer or defender. This makes the healer's job much easier. While you're running toward the fighter and ranger caves, you can use the horn to call for the collector, and equip the correct arrows. There are four types of arrows, bullet, field, blunt, and barbed. However, most people don't use these names, and instead go by the colors of the arrows. Each colored arrow corresponds to the color of the magic attack associated with it. Wind spells correspond to white arrows, water for blue, earth for green, and fire for red. Always use the rapid attack style while ranging. Ranging potions are also helpful, and will allow you to hit up to a 46. After killing all the penance, rangers, and fighters, head east toward the eastern cannon and start shooting red eggs at the remaining penance to speed up the wave. As mentioned before, the job of the main attacker is to kill the penance fighters. However, you can help the second attacker with rangers if necessary. If either the rangers or fighters go east, don't chase them, but instead kill them later on once you've finished in your main area. The first hit you do in each wave should always be with the magic comp bow. After that, you'll switch to the magic short bow for the rest of the wave. Here's how the main attacker will generally proceed with each wave. For wave 1, tag the first fighter with the magic comp bow and finish it off with your magic short bow. Kill the second fighter as it spawns with normal shortbow attacks. For the last two fighters in each wave, you should use your special attack to make sure the wave ends quickly. On waves 2 and 3, you should tag the first fighter using the magic comp bow. Continue killing other penance fighters using your magic shortbow and finish off the last two fighters with your special attack. Keep in mind that the last fighter on waves 2 and 3 will spawn after the call change, so you'll have to switch arrows. Waves 4 and 5 are very similar to 2 and 3, except that there will be two fighters spawning after the call change. You should save both special attacks for these last two fighters. For waves 6 through 9, continue tagging the first fighter with the magic comp bow, and finish them off with the magic short bow. Special attacks should be used on these waves if there are a lot of penance fighters or rangers alive at one time, or there are almost no eggs for the collector to pick up. On wave 10, the runner and healer caves are swapped. This means that it's key to stay as far west as possible since the healers now spawn closer. You'll have to run up west of the western cannon and should remain west of this line. Kill the fighters and rangers just like waves 6 through 9. 
After the fighters and rangers are dead, you can run straight to the western cannon and begin shooting any pennants in range. You can force the yellow egg spawn as the scroller. This spawns the first yellow egg instantly rather than 6 seconds after the queen spawns. When you see the chat box message that the queen is spawning, the wooden doors will open and the queen will be lifted upwards. You can click on a prayer and hold it at this time. Once the queen is fully spawned, you either press space, click on the ground, or click on the scroll to close the interface you've opened. The yellow egg should spawn instantly. After you've forced the yellow egg to spawn, do not fire the cannon as a scroller or main attacker. If the scroller shoots, the Omega Egg will not be able to be duplicated or duped. When the Omega Egg is made and passed back to the collector, watch for them to begin loading the egg into the hopper. By simply spam clicking either elemental or mine shields when the collector is loading the egg, you'll be able to dupe the Omega and should see multiple eggs flying toward the queen. The second attacker is a lot like the main attacker, except they kill rangers instead of fighters. Help the main attacker with their fighters if needed. Remember to use the magic compo for the first attack on each wave, then switch to the magic shortbow for the rest of the wave. For waves 1 and 2, tag the first ranger with the magic compo and finish it off with your magic shortbow. Kill the second ranger with normal shortbow attacks. For the last two rangers in the wave, you should use your special attack to make sure the wave ends quickly. In waves 3 through 5, tag the first ranger with your magic compo, then finish the rest of the rangers with normal shortbow attacks until the call change. In the second call, there will be two rangers that spawn, which you should finish quickly using your special attacks. In waves 6 through 9, the goal of the second attacker is to get fast eggs for the collector at the start. For this reason, you'll be using your shortbow specs earlier than before. Tag the first ranger with your magic compo like previous waves. Depending on what you hit for the first attack, you should use either a normal attack or a special attack to finish the first ranger. For example, if you hit a 5 with your magic compo, you would want to spec the first ranger, then spec the second ranger as well. If your first hit with the magic compo is around 20 or 30, it's best to finish it off with your normal attack to save both the special attacks for the second and third ranger. On wave 10, the runner and healer caves are swapped. This means that it's key to stay as far west as possible since the penance healers now spawn closer. You'll have to run up west of the western cannon and should remain west of this line. Kill the rangers and fighters just like in waves 6 through 9. After the fighters and rangers are dead, you can run straight to the west cannon and begin shooting any penance in range. The second attacker usually adds spikes to the poison egg received from the healer. Pass the egg to the defender once the spikes have been added, and run toward the cannon. The second attacker is allowed and should shoot the Penance Queen. You can spam click the Omega Egg to shoot more eggs if the main attacker is duping. I hope you found this guide useful, and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.